March Madness, of course, still in full effect. My bracket's busted, though. Probably a lot of them are. And while you watch all the action play out on TV, you could also shoot some hoops with others all around the world, thanks to a smart basketball gaming system called Hoop. NBC 5's Charlie Wojciechowski has more on this new technology and its unique spelling. Good morning. We are in the middle of the most intense basketball season of the year. March Madness playing out in front of us. Has that inspired you? Do you want to improve your game? Do you want to play on the most high-tech court available? Well, that is where Late Said comes in. He is with a company called Hoop, and you have got a hoop that is that dreams are made of, correct? Yes, we do. Um, I am the co-founder at Hoop and COO. My co-founder, Paul Anton, could not be here today, so just want to give him a shout-out for his late-night uh, data collection <laughs> session last night. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're Hoop. We're the world's first smart basketball hoop with a screen for a backboard. Allows you to train like a pro, track your performance, and compete against other hoop users right from your driveway or gym. All right, we're looking at a little bit of video of this thing now. Explain to me how this works and where would I install this? Does this go outside on my driveway like I'd expect, or would this be inside in a gym situation? So it's either or. We have a full-size regulation unit for the gym indoor wall mount, and then we also have a pole mount uh, outdoor height adjustable unit similar to any in-ground basketball hoop. So it really depends on the user and what they're looking for. We do indoor and outdoor. Um, the way it works, it's uh, a camera on top of the screen that tracks all the players' movements. So you get real-time analytics, form correction, you get on-demand training, you can stream your favorite games, highlights, and shows while you play, and it tracks all of your data in the background. So you don't have to choose anymore between watching the NBA game or a March Madness game or shooting some baskets. You can do both at the same time, which is exciting. <laughs> So if I'm inspired, I can be out there dribbling and shooting and still keeping up on, uh, well, mine was Northwestern, so I'm kind of out of the game right now. Yeah, yeah, so you can do both now. You don't really have to choose anymore. Where'd the idea for this come from? So this all started um, years ago. So uh, around 2019, my co-founder, Paul, was working on an augmented reality game for, uh, for a number of years. So I flew back to Wisconsin where we both grew up. And uh, I played that game. It was really cool. It was awesome. The glasses were just a little bit heavy on the head. So I'm like, wait a second. Let's look at all these companies out there, these at-home fitness startups that are really crushing it right now. What if we took this game and put it on the backboard? Immediately, his jaw dropped. The following day, I quit my job, and we started building Hoop. So we started working on our first patents, um, our initial design. We conceptualized everything, and we started executing right away. And here we are three years later. Uh, we're about to be in market this year. And deliver our first thousand units to customers. So it's exciting. Uh, I imagine this is not an inexpensive product. You know, it's right in line with other basketball hoop uh, hoops that are out there, the premium in-ground basketball hoops. So you can get those for around $3,000 all the way up to $5,000. Leigh, thank you so much for showing us the hoop. If people are interested in this, how can they learn more about the product? Our website would be a great start. It's hoop, H-U-U-P-E.com. And we're at Hoop Official on all social media platforms. Lay, thank you so much. The company is called Hoop. The spelling is unique. And if you're getting into basketball for this March Madness season, here's something you might want to consider. For Art Norman, I'm Charlie Wojciechowski, and we'll see you right back here next time.